What is going on guys? It is your boy Savage Jester or John coming back at you with a brand new video here today. Now before we get into the video guys, I just wanted to let you guys know that today is my 21st birthday. I'm celebrating my 21st today. Um, I'm very, very happy. By the time you guys are watching this video, I do want to tell you all, every single person that wished me happy birthday, thank you so much. You guys made my birthday a very special one. Um, yesterday, I did end up going out with some friends. Um, if you guys have my Snapchat, which will be down below and all that stuff, um, I did post a lot, a lot, a lot on my Snapchat. So if you guys saw it, or go check me out and go add me. So the link will be down below. Um, like, it's honestly been a long, long, like, long, long week, you know, just to get to 21. Um, I'm not planning on doing anything crazy, although I know everybody here telling me I can live it up and stuff like that, but I do appreciate everybody's support and all the happy birthdays. So I know you guys already see the title, but it's a whole bunch of like stuff with this entire sneaker that's that I have here today to show you guys. Um, I did, the sneaker did come out on the 17th of July last month, but um, I ordered the sneaker earlier and it was a whole bunch of stuff going on. I They they, they put me on with a seller. The seller confirmed, um, packaged, the, the, packaged the shipment and everything. Um, but apparently the, the, the seller did not get the sneaker and you know, he didn't really have the sneaker. So he was, I guess he just ordered the sneaker. He was waiting for it. He immediately put it up on GOAT. So I had, I even had a friend from New York, shout out to you, man. I know you're watching this video. I had a friend from New York try to help me out because I had no idea what the hell was going on. I never seen anything like that. Then they, they put me on with another seller through the GOAT app and that seller also failed. So they just canceled my order completely, completely. It got me upset and everything like that. So, I mean, I ended up getting the sneaker at least a, a week late because um, I did end up contacting somebody in my city that had the sneaker. He gave, me to, he gave it to me for a good price. So let's just get right into it. So obviously for this box, guys, it's a typical Air Jordan 1 box. Um, nothing too crazy. I don't really see anything, you know, like obviously it's just a regular Jordan 1 box. Opening up the box, you get, you immediately look at the shoe. The shoe has two different sets of laces. There's a lot of stuff going on with this shoe that kind of upsets me and not just the appearance of the shoe. It's just the conversations about the shoe. Um, all the mock-up videos for this Jordan in particular, the electric orange ones, um, the mock-up pictures were a little bit different, but I still liked the shoe. Obviously, people saw that there was different, definitely different quality um, coming towards the shoe, but I'm honestly feeling it less. We obviously know it's not a shattered backboard. I never had a shattered backboard. Obviously, the prices are ridiculous right now for them. I know the original shattered backboards from 2016, I believe, are like going for about a thousand, maybe more, depending on, um, on sizes. But, um... As far as these go, like, I'm honestly feeling them. They're pretty clean. Quality control is not as bad. You're not, do not expect shattered backboard, you know, that smooth, buttery leather, don't expect that. You have a white toe box with um, the black lining and everything around it. You have a black swoosh. The laces, I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna change the lace color. I think I'm just gonna keep it as black. You have a black tongue going all around the shoe. You have a white, you have a white backing of the shoe. But honestly, then you have a orange bottom. This sneaker is not crazy, crazy as many people want it to be, but I definitely, I definitely could pull this off with the right fit, I definitely can. I saw other YouTubers like Jumper Man Chris and Kais Omar said that they kind of like the shoe, but simply because it's not a shattered backboard or what they were expecting it to be as far as quality and everything, they, don't like it in that kind of aspect, but they still would keep it in the collection and like so would I honestly But oh man, it's just it's just a lot like I think I only ha I only have one other orange shoe in my collection and I think it might be a while till I wear that one too, but I mean it's a Jordan 1 You definitely can't go wrong with a Jordan 1 these the as far as the pricing goes right now the pricing is one of the things that really mainly upsets me the pricing is right now for these are maybe without shipping and everything, all that other stuff, you're at least paying about a little over 200, 210 at most. Once again, depending on sizing. Um, I do think that eventually these will go up in prices. Like 
but I mean, it definitely might take some time. I, I can't even predict how long, but simply because I mean, it kind of reminds me of like a like a black toe, really. Like, is that what they were really going for? I'm not sure if that's what they were really. I'm not sure, but I mean, honestly, it's definitely clean, but it's out there. I'm not sure how I'm liking this. I guess you could say leather, this orange leather on the back. I don't, I'm not sure. It's kind of, a lot of them, a lot of them did come with factory like flaws and stuff. I see like on the leather, some people have this completely smooth. As far as me and I saw on some other pairs, they are, they are wrinkled in this area. I don't know why. Some, it, there's other defects from, from people's pairs that come in, but I mean, some of the stitching was, you know, coming out and stuff, but that's, that's really, really bad. Um, there is definitely a lot behind this shoe, you know. It was definitely meant to represent the shattered backboards, but um, it's not its not what people were looking for. It, it definitely isn't the mock-up um, picture that we all saw a while back. But um, these were, these definitely do fine for me. The mock-up mock shoe and what they are now, I mean, we would have honestly, I would have honestly felt good with both. But um, the, if you guys take a look at the market picture, which, which I'm sure I'm gonna throw a picture on the screen right now, um, the quality looked definitely a little bit better, I would say, on the mock-ups. But obviously they changed the panel of the shoe, so as far as where like the wing logo and everything, so on the wing part of the shoe, I believe this was all orange. There was definitely a little bit more black, I believe. Um, it was just definitely paneled out properly as far as we is that it was definitely paneled out properly but um it's just not like okay there's a color here there's a color there there's a color there um the tongue i believe the tongue was definitely different um you have an orange swoosh with the, with the nike logo in white on the tongue um i don't think that's how it was i don't even i'm not sure if the, i'm not sure if the tongue was black um but as really far as i can remember definitely the wing part of the shoe was definitely orange that's that's as far as i can remember but I might have to take a look at the pictures and then you know probably throw it on the screen for you guys so you guys can see. Um, I already actually I see some bleeding in the sneaker already from the swoosh all the way onto the back tab right here. I already see a little bit of bleeding, but I mean definitely still gonna rock the shoe. Have no idea what I'm gonna get a chance to wear it. Um, I believe this is a alright, so obviously this is an orange color, so I'm thinking that this will definitely be uh fall sneaker so don't think i'm gonna wear this till then but most likely just gonna post a picture with a nice fit you know post it on the grams so make sure you guys follow me on instagram definitely gonna be posting pictures today it's my birthday so go get some fire pics go down below click the link um on the inside once, once i remove this once i remove the stuffing on the inside you definitely have the nike air logo all the way in the all the way in there it's pretty, it's pretty, um, and it's definitely different too. I'm not sure, I'm not sure how good you guys could see that, but it's different. They actually, they actually made a box around the Nike logo and the Nike Air logo is, is definitely bigger. Um, I wear a size nine. I would definitely say go true to size because, you know, um, Jordan ones definitely do fit true to size, but, um, inside it's not too bad. Um, the quality for the inside is definitely different. It's it's a different type of material as far as I can see. Um, I am starting to see some flaws on the inside, the stitching and stuff like that. Um, but I'm not really gonna complain too much about the shoe. The shoe is a nice shoe in my opinion. I noticed that I've been looking online for the last like two weeks. There's definitely a lot of talk about this sneaker. Some people hate it, some people don't. Um, some people might add it to their collection that right next to the other shattered backboard that they probably have. Um, I'm not a fan of all the shattered backboards. Maybe the satins I like and the originals, but um, I'm not really a fan, fan of all of them simply because of quality, maybe how the way they look, but I'm definitely feeling it though. Definitely feeling it. Um, definitely would like to know your guys' opinions down below. I want your opinions on this sneaker. Um, let me know in the comment section whether you love it or you don't. Um, just, it's a fire shoe. That's all I'm gonna say, guys. So, 
All right, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Make sure you guys comment. And it's been your boy, Savage Jester, and I'm out. Peace.